Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clarissa Jacqueline Martinez. I am a Sophie Davis student in my sophomore year here at CCNY. The following is some personal background on myself so they can be better understand who I am. I am the eldest of four children and come from multiracial descent. I have traveled all over the world as a result of being an Air Force brat. Born in the Bronx, only a few months old, I moved to Germany, where I lived till around the age of six, only to return back to New York City. With either the possibilities or endless attitude that my parents had instilled in me at a young age, I worked hard to attend a specialized high school, and upon graduation, was the only one to do so. I attended LaGuardia Arts, where I was an art major for four years. My high school experience, it's safe to say, is truly what made me who I am today. It gave me my voice and the love I have for life. When graduating, I was faced with the difficult choice of choosing between two different halves of who I am. I am an artist and I'm a scholar. With CCNY, I realized I could be both. I could pursue medicine without losing art and it leaves us where I am today, a biomedical science major who is minoring in art. This past year was a long and difficult one. <coughs> I breezed through APs in high school so easily that the curved wall Sophie Davis threw at me came as a shock. <laughs> My first semester was spent trying to figure out how I could handle all the coursework that I'd be doing. And still coming to grips with this, my father fell ill, making him unable to work, not temporarily, but permanently. This caused, and is still causing, an immense financial strain on my family, who had welcomed its newest member, my baby sister, only months earlier. Still trying to figure out school, I was faced with trying to balance jobs along with it to assist my mother financially, as she struggled with hospital bills pouring in and the expenses of a newborn. It was no easy feat trying to balance the two while holding myself to a standard of excellence in both. This scholarship changed all that. With the money received, my financial plight was alleviated, allowing me not only to take full advantage of being a college student, but making sure I wouldn't ever again have to worry if I could afford being one. I became more open to stepping outside of my academics because I had found my brain. I began becoming more involved in clubs, such as the Student National Medical Association, the American Medical Women's Association, the American Medical Student Association, and the National Society of Leadership and Success. I found the confidence and stability to seek out positions of leadership, as I am now the Secretary of Scotland Inc., Sophie Davis's Arts Club, and I found more time to pursue other passions, such as running for CCNY and Whitman's track team, and doing research in a cancer lab. Aside from clubs, research, and running, I love volunteer work. Throughout high school, I found myself drawn to a miscellaneous of works, and that enthusiasm has thus stuck with me as I continue to volunteer with organizations such as the American Heart Organization and the American Cancer Society. My goal is to help people because that's what brings me joy in life. Helping others is not only a recreational activity to me, but my calling. I hope to one day become a physician. Volunteering has provided me with the opportunity to be mentored by my experiences, expanding my knowledge of the field I am pursuing. I want to learn how I can be the best position that I can be, and experiences like this help me help others in the future. Striving for excellence, I want to learn more about my community, its strengths, weaknesses, and shortcomings, so that I may better serve it in the future. The guidance I've received in going out and volunteering has only helped to strengthen my cause. All these experiences only made possible by your generosity. You made school my job. My grades now pay for my education. Everything from club membership to volunteering was made possible because you made it so, and I intend to pay it forward. One of my long-term goals is to improve the healthcare delivery to Latino communities. Upon graduation of medical school and completion of residency, I plan on working in the Bronx, a borough very heavily populated by Hispanics. I hope to give back to the community that I grew up in through my work as well as serving as a role model for children. Children are our future, and if we inspire them at a young age, we can have a bright one. In my neighborhood, many young minds fall waste to the harsh realities of their living situations. The first step in helping the community would be letting the youth know that through education, all is possible. I love working with children and therefore plan to become a pediatrician. I want to bring back that element of a community doctor, which I'm afraid is slipping away. I will do this by not only seeing my patients by appointments, but also having an open door policy. I want my patients to feel as though they can call on me at any time. This year, I hope to take another step closer to that long-term goal while holding on to other things that bring joy in my life. I will continue volunteering, staying in tune with my artistic side, and pushing myself to be the best scholar and person that I can be. 
I would like to sincerely thank all of you from the bottom of my heart, especially Ms. Anna Rinaccio, my sponsor, for the amazing gift that you've given me. The, the ability to receive an education without financial strain on my family. You've given so much to me so that I may give to others in the future, and for that I am eternally grateful. In my success in the future, I hope to provide others with the same gift you've given all of us, a free education. On the behalf of all the scholarship recipients here today, I would like to thank all of you.